Welcome to the 2017 Twin Cities Film Festival. I'm your host, Natasha. We have exclusive red carpet coverage here that you can only find on Facebook. I do want to thank our presenting sponsor, Fenora De Junk, and also the shops at West End who help us out every single year. So we are really excited because we have a huge crowd. You can't see them right now, all waiting to go in for Aquarians. Um, it is the worldwide, worldwide debut, and I have two of the lead actors, Shane and Tracy, joining me right now. Let's give it up for Shane and Tracy, everyone. So I had, let's start with you, Shane. So I understand you are the quote-unquote bad brother. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call him bad brother. No. <laughs> uh, I guess he would be considered. Uh, you the bad guy in this. You can't hear me? Oh, what about now? What about now? Uh, no, I actually agree with a lot of his philosophies in, uh, in this movie or whatever. And, and a lot of it, I, I grew up with three brothers, kind of like he did as well. And, you know, when you go through a tragedy, you don't really, how you deal with it uh, can vary just depending on who you are. And uh, I'd say that my character handles it in the best way that he can, but that, hell yeah, he is the bad brother. <laughs> Tracy, tell us a little bit about your role in the film. Well, my role is I get to know both of the brothers very well. Um, in fact, in the film, my character's a lesbian, or questioning, and um, she knows Shane's character very well. They've already been friends in town, you know, he kind of has the hookups on all the underground stuff. The weed. Um, <laughs> and my, my character, having known him, we hang out with him a lot, me and my girlfriend, and then his brother comes back into town to become a priest, and after that, you know, I'm like, just, I'm like slouching, uh, after that, we kind of all hook up and we go to the church and we see what he's doing, We're, I'm like, my character's trying to get him to not be such a good boy, you know? But, like, she's still trying to figure out who she is, so, yeah, sounds interesting. So what did you guys, what was, what was the biggest lesson you both learned in shooting the film? Uh, make sure you wear long underwear <laughs> and wear it at Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay. That's honestly my take too. Born and raised in LA, so uh, being in the snow for the first time, like it's really, really cold. What was that like for you then? It was, um, I think my toes just like crunched. They curled in, I didn't have toe warmers, I didn't know. So my toes were like totally curled in after we shot, and my boots had holes in them, and we were on a frozen lake. It was like where we shot. So uh, yeah, once I finally got my shoes off, like the pain of the burning when my feet were like, starting to warm up, it was so intense, like I had to like hop around because it just hurt. <laughs> Can we talk about this dress and those shoes? <laughs> oh my gosh, you look so great. I Thank love you. that. So what would you guys like people to take away from the film? The film itself, like if you could actually buy that. <laughs> take that home <laughs> Watch it online. Um, pretty much just the fact that a lot can happen no matter where you're from. Um, if you're from a small town, if you're from a big town, it's irrelevant because something happens to everyone and it's just about oh, what's the story, how do we get through it? And I love that human psychology, so I hope everyone can take that away. I like that and yeah, just to piggyback off of what Mike was saying, uh, the film is about brotherhood and, uh, you know, relationships are complicated, but I, I would say I would like people to take away the fact that if you listen and, uh, love and yeah I would, I would want you to take that away just, uh, kind of a side note but you guys are you know up and coming actors doing a great job if there's anybody watching on Facebook right now who's maybe you know wanting to get into it and you know looking for some inspiration what would you say to them out there I never never quit yeah never quit persistence uh, some people do this for 10, 15 years and never become a quote unquote name, but you can still make a living at it. And uh, uh, just keep following your heart and do, uh, yeah, never, never quit and memorize your lines. <laughs> I was just telling my friend Jordan uh, today, I think uh, for all those actors out there, 
you know, pressure makes diamonds. Like, it's a very hard town, it's a very hard industry, and they're not going to be nice to you. Um, it's going to be very difficult. So if you have thick skin and you know your stuff, you know your blocking, you know your lines, you know who you are, you know who that character is, you'll be able to do it. Don't ever, ever get discouraged, because perseverance and persistence will take you further than any kind of hope. <laughs> That's really good advice. Really, really great advice. Now, how can people find out more about you guys? Uh, Stalk us online. <laughs> Social media. IMDb. <laughs> IMDb, okay. Yeah. So, if you like uh, anything on the internet, IMDb. Um, and then I was in a film, I played Julie Louis Dreyfus's daughter. So sad about breast cancer. But that's called Enough Said. So, I'm a brunette in that. And then I was in James Gandolfini's last film. Um, maybe you don't work with me. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, that's called a hologram for the king, and I put Tom Hanks' daughter in that, Tim Redhead. You might not recognize that. Yeah, there's, there's a new show, SWAT, coming out on CBS, which I'll be in. Awesome, thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Good luck with the Bye. <laughs>